a nation heal. The United States of America, there's no... Let's go to Michigan. Very substantial majority there. We look at my notes, about 150,000 vote margin in those three states. That's important. We've all oriented ourselves to the way these maps look for the red, blue, or light blue, or light red. This is 2020. Look at Pennsylvania, the one that put Joe Biden over the top. Let's compare it to 2016. Mostly the same, but you see some various sh shades changing. I want to bring your attention to this county. It's called Chester County. Look at the Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump relationship there. Look at it in 2020. There's a story there. The margin of Joe Biden's victory in one county in Pennsylvania, Chester County, was about 53,000, more than his current statewide majority in Pennsylvania. That doesn't tell the entire story of the state of Pennsylvania, but it tells a fascinating one about the suburbs around Philadelphia, and it is this. Joe Biden got more than 100,000 more votes out of these so-called color suburban counties around Philadelphia than Hillary Clinton. Here's the more interesting thing about that. Even though those votes went for Joe Biden down ballot, those people who voted for Joe Biden and not Donald Trump voted for Republicans in state races and federal races. So they split their tickets, something we don't see very often in this country. That's the tail of the tape in Pennsylvania and in suburban America. It was part of the tail of the tape nationally. Nora, back to you. No more math and geography. <laughs> no, but that really was fascinating because as people ask, how did Joe Biden win this election? Um, how was he able to bring back voters into the Democratic fold? It was those uh, blue collar folks, uh, white working class folks, union households, certainly in Michigan, as well as parts of Pennsylvania as well. And so far, most of the fraud claims have been totally without merit and made up. And what Major just points out is so wise because it shows voters making a specific choice. In other words, these are voters who are voting for lots of Republicans, just chose not to at the top of the ticket. It also shows why so many Republicans down ballot across the country did better than expected, because even people who didn't vote for Donald Trump, typical Republicans who said they couldn't take another four years of President Trump, still voted for Republican members of Congress. And Democrats thought they were going to pick up seats. Instead, they ended up losing about half a dozen seats. Because it's interesting to see the music that they walked out on to. Uh, Kamala Harris walked out to Mary J. Blige. Uh, Joe Biden walked out to Bruce Springsteen. And in the closing days of the campaign, Bruce Springsteen had done a commercial, narrated a commercial for Joe Biden. And there was a great line in there that says, this is more than where he's from, it's who he's for, speaking to the blue collar people that, that, that signed on to vote for Joe Biden this time. I think that speaks volumes of how he made that shift and turned that around. You think Bruce Springsteen may have been the deciding factor? <laughs> well, I think Bruce Springsteen. You can't go wrong with anything Bruce Springsteen. And no Don't get me started on that noise. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll start belting out dancing in the dark soon. <laughs> yeah. Most diverse electorate in American history, electorate that is usually 70% white. By our exit polls, it was about 65% white. And so as this country changes, so does the leaders that it elects. And one of the challenges for any president under a changing country is those people who are made nervous by change. Uh, and that's one of the things, in addition to all of the things on the to-do list that Joe Biden must manage. One of the big ones is the partisanship that is kind of a thing you have to solve before you can solve all those other problems. And he's got a big task a ahead of him. And when A nation united, a nation strengthened, a nation healed. The United States of America, there's never been anything we've tried we've not been able to do.